Hey, my beauties. So I was just led to make an impromptu um, video for you and um, I want to share some good news, some happy news. So welcome to my longtime viewers. Um, so I just did the first of two of my energy healing sessions and like kind of back to back. And I'm really excited. I'm really happy. So I thought I would jump on and record something because um, I noticed there was one card that came up for both people. So what this is my um, new offering. I had experimented with it a little bit about a year ago and then stopped. But Spirit, coming out of this Mercury retrograde, which was the last two days were hellish for me. I literally could not sleep. I am governed by Mercury. I'm right the Leo Virgo cusp birthday. And so I, I mean, not even just slept badly. I could not sleep for like two nights, about two nights ago. I think it was the 26th, 27th. I just, my mind was like so wired and I realized it was the Mercury retrograde. So let me know how that was for you because it's, specifically was, you know, right around my birthday and some things were shifting. Um, and one of them spirit is like, you need to offer the energy healing, energy, alchemy, healing, chakra, energy healing. Cause it's like, I'm working with the chakras and I had been trying to figure it out before I share what came up for both of the goddesses who participated. You should be on my email list because I offered I got a bunch of people and offered it to them to, I wanted to test some things out. And so um, I got enough people, so that's no longer there. But if you're interested, check the link below because um, what I'm combining is um, energy healing with divination. So it's been hard for me. Those who've been following me for a long time, you know that just the pure divination never sat right with me, like just the tarot readings. It felt too kind of just average, like it didn't bring everything I had to bear, right? So I'd start, I'd stop, I'd start, I'd stop. But like I said, about a year or a little more ago, I started to get the feeling, well, you know, you can do energy healing distance energy healing. And I was like, oh, you know, always doubting the self, doubting the self. Let me know if you have that, right? This is, as women, this is like our, like bugaboo. This is like our never, you know, the, the full confidence, right? I shouldn't say never, but that's something we have to fight through often, especially women of a certain generation. So anyway, um, right when I first opened this energy healing, someone who I didn't know, like booked the first one. She's like, I, you know, I know you're the real deal. I can feel it. I can sense that with people. And she came for a reading. And as I watch her life unfold on social media, no lie, a lot of the stuff that I was saying to her, I can see she got through and got over or healed in some way because she's like really shifted in a bold way. Um, some of the stuff may still be there, but I could see what came up in the reading for, for her. So anyway, I put out like feelers through my, um, through my email list, get on that, get on my newsletter. And a bunch of people took me up on it. And so the first two sessions were today. And that's what I want to share with you. The card that came up for both women, hold on. So I had already put it in because I had cleared myself and my energy after doing the reading. So again, I'm offering a combination of divination at the end, but the first part is the energy healing. And that's the new part for me, but spirits like you can do this. And both uh, responses were amazing. I'm looking for the card that I want to show you. So when I do the divination part for them, after doing this sort of energy tune up um, where I tune in and work with the chakras, and so far I have, I don't know that I'll always do this, but I reported back on which chakra energy was low. Okay. Let me just check my recording. Yes, I'm still recording. And both women highly resonated with what I said. I mean, they literally are like, um, again, without revealing anything personal, the particular chakra for the first woman, she's like, yes, I've actually been having pain there lately. And I was like, wow. And I shared the reason that I thought 
this was happening that was shared with me. She completely resonated. And, and then that led to some color recommendations for her. And then the second woman, um, I did not know she hadn't shared with me previously. I said, this is the particular chakra that I see. It's almost, um, decimated. It's like it's wiped out. And I told her which chakra that was. And she says, yes, this is because this happened. Like, and I was like, whoa, okay. <laughs> um, she confirmed what, like it completely made sense to her and it made sense to me also once I knew that information. So I'm going to, yeah, I found the card that came up for both of these ladies in the final position. And so I think there's some reason I'm supposed to share it. Okay, because I think um, it's a theme. So it is the Justice card. And this is just the traditional Rider weight that I use, but it's the Justice card, which for those of you who don't know, so it's person sitting, uh, actually their gender is not really clear. They're sitting on the throne, holding a sword up, and they have the scales of justice and the sword upright in one hand. And um, yeah. So this card came up for both individuals and in the, in the same position. And so that's why I thought, let me hop on YouTube and share. So there's something about justice in the air right now. And again, I read the cards intuitively. The justice card, the first hit I always get with it is that it will be fair. It will be impartial and it will be fair judgment. Now, that doesn't mean that it's always exactly what we want. Does that make sense? Like it often is illegal. So for some of you, this might really be a legal proceeding. Um, I hesitate to sometimes say that uh, to clients because I'm like, oh gosh, I don't, I don't think they're in legal trouble. And then often it is the case. There's some sort of legal thing going on, um, but it doesn't have to be but it's a sense of a karmic balance. I read this card as coming to, there was an issue that was karmic of good and evil and um, actions, reactions, maybe poor actions on our part, maybe on the other party's part, or maybe on both. But again, when it's upright and it was for both of the goddesses, it has, it says to me that justice will prevail and that justice will be impartial and it will be fair as i said so fair might mean that something ends that needs to end um a decision is laid down a change happens and again it may not be what you would expect as the winner but it is the right thing it is it, it is the just thing so I just wanted to share that because I don't know if it's going to be something really in politics. I'm also getting a little bit of resonance with that. And you guys know, um, I try to avoid getting <laughs> irritated <laughs> by politics and to maintain my energy, but I just had to share that with you. So there's some thing around the time that I put this video out to do with justice and fairness. And again, it can be legal, um, judgments coming through, uh, in your life but it can also be a sense of a karmic balance happening. And again, don't want you to fear that because if it's personal for you, as I'm just putting this out, it means that it is the right thing karmically. A balance has been settled. So there's no longer a burden of it on you, if that makes sense. Um, the, the, the issue has been settled in the right way. Okay. And, um, but yeah, there's some reason maybe right when you're watching this in way in the future, but certainly at the time that I'm reading this, that again, the energy of justice is going to be very important in, uh, our lives and maybe in the zeitgeist in the, in the sort of, um, public mind. So yeah. And I'm putting this out. I'm actually going to put the date cause I feel like that's important. It's August 30th and it's about four 43 that I'm putting this out. And so, yeah, I just wanted to share with you. So I'm really excited about this offering. Um, I'm feeling that it's time that I step into that role. And um, the little background of where I first realized that I could um, shift people's energy. This was probably literally 30, 35 years ago. I was um, taking a, I was talking to the man who ran Yoga Zone 
Uh, some of you old enough, you may know Yoga Zone was huge in New York City. It was a chain of yoga studios and it was run by a man from South Africa. Anyway, um, he actually said this to me privately, but I think it's okay to share it. But I had, I was working with a client just teaching yoga and I had touched their back and they were like, whoa, I just felt energy shoot like up my spine. And I was, I was kind of like, whoa, that wasn't necessarily what I intended to do. Um, I put my hand just to be like soothing. It was a private yoga client and they're like, yeah, I felt that like go up my spine. I was like, whoa, okay. So then I went to talk to him, the yoga zone guy. And he looks at me, and goes, yeah, no, you, you move their Kundalini energy. And I was like, oh, okay. Because I, like I said, I didn't intend to, um, particularly do anything like that or do energy work on them consciously. Right. And like I said, this was 30 years ago. So then, as a lot of you know, I did train in doing hands-on body work, but again, I now I feel like spirit is like, no, you can do this at a distance. And so I just really do want to share that with you. If it resonates with you, do book a, an appointment with me and, um, the two ladies, um, so far have been very positive in how they felt during the session like feeling that something was happening in their bodies. They felt energetic movement and stuff. And uh, it was different for um, each of them. They described it differently. And then when I did the divination aspect, like what do they need to know also to kind of catalyze this? It completely resonated with both of them. So I'm feeling really good about it. I'm going to continue offering this as long as it feels balanced with my energy. And, um, you know, I don't get overwhelmed in doing it or feel drained or anything. So, um, yeah, so I want to put that out because I really like, yeah, I'm excited about it. I have some more sessions already booked, but if you are interested and, um, have the ability to invest in this, it is not physical healing what it seems to be doing. And my intention is to catalyze movement in your life in a particular area, whether that's um, with work, somewhere where you're stuck is what I'm seeing and, and create healing in that. And so again, I don't wanna go into detail about with the clients that I saw, but it always seems to resonate around what you need support in at that moment, even if it's not stated by you. Okay. So I'm able to kind of drop in and as I said, work with the chakras, start to move the energy, heighten it a little bit, see where there's a blockage or, or lack, and then catalyze that, um, put that into words with the divination and, you know, with the imagery on the cards as help. So if that sounds interesting to you, please do reach out. Like I said, I don't know how long I'll continue to do it. And I don't know how long, um, not how long, but how many sessions I'll accept. Like right now I have a limit of two a day. Spirit is like, yeah, that's enough for you. Um, don't, you know, don't do more than two energy healings a day and, and the distance, um, because I don't want to get drained and I want to kind of keep my energy high and, um, and positive for me so I can continue to do my work and do my life and everything. So yeah, I'm really excited. I am another year older. I'm still not telling you, but <laughs> I look good for my age. If you knew what my age was, um, and I'm happy the gray's coming back in. I didn't like when the hair was just totally black. It just, yeah. Um, but I'll figure that out, but I like having, you know, some of the silver coming in and i don't want my hair to be all white i don't think it would be it would still be salt and pepper let me know what you think let me know what you think you know as women i was just watching another channel and this beautiful sister was saying you know um i think she was 65 and she was dyeing her hair like 100 percent um you know and she's just like yeah i and she looked amazingly young like she just she looked great She's like, yeah, I don't really feel like the gray on me looks good. Of course, it looks good on other women. You know, we have that like, oh, it looks good on you. So we'll see how it plays out. Well, and I might do some twists or some some little, I don't know. I'm playing with what I can do with my hair to sort of um, break up the way that I'm wearing my hair. So anyway, 
I just wanted to come on and connect with you. And yeah, let's see how this justice card plays out. Like I said, I'm getting it's personal, but also that there might be um, other ramifications. And let's see, let's see what happens. Um, again, fairness, it's always fair. It's, it's always the right thing. It's an impartiality. So let me know if this resonates in your life and let's see in the next couple of days also. All right. Much love. And I will probably do my live on Sunday sometime early afternoon, most likely. All right. Be well. Love you guys. Bye-bye.